And welcome back to Angel Scaler Rings, ladies and gentlemen. This one's pointing man, Bob Mob, Doc Wildcard. Welcome you back. Uh, Remy apparently is. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, actually. I'm really not sure what's going on with this game in general. It just keeps changing. Uh, there was um, that masked figure who explained to me partially what's going on here, but yeah. So this is the officer. I mean, what's his chance? And, yeah. Well, all of these I feel would be an invasion of privacy except for this, so uh, it's just me and nothing special about it. Yeah. yeah. Let's wait for a bit. Nothing happened. Oh, jeez, don't tell me this is going to force me to do something. Third time's a time? Your boredom has increased by three points. Please, it. it's even unlocked. <laughs> oh no! Oh, um, oh, jeez. Uh, I guess this. Um, I guess this computer is similar to that. Let's see. The press of a button, the screen came to life, come by the war of the machine. For a few seconds, a few colorful images appeared on screen. Hmm? Hey, cool! It's the... It's the guy... The 16-bit era, my era. You come to beg for mercy. No, it uh, we come to stop you. The range terror of the land is my... Molly is over. You're outnumbered. Just give up so we can end this without bloodshed. Serious team with my soldiers outnumbering you thousands to one. But I don't even need them. Who knows? If you survive long enough, you just might see what I'm called Alia the Ascending. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It just, just seems unusual to have this here when they've had other things uncensored. Oh, you pompous ass. Calm down, Ed. Let's focus. I'm sorry I come, had to come to this end, but this ends now. Ronin, get them! Ronin? I wonder if that's a take on the uh, term for the... I think there was something like samurai, only without masters. Back in the Middle Ages or Medieval Times, one of the two in Japan, Ronin, except instead of an alpha, it was in India here. Alpha and India being the military for the civilian A and I, respectively. <coughs> That's the odd seas. Oh, cool, this it's got like the music and everything. It is used whirlwind. It only takes two, 326 damage. But I'll use an earthquake. Ronin takes 465 damage. Jar! Ronin invokes cosmic horror. Bomar takes 1889 damage. Mizzard takes 1205 damage. Oh no. What the? Oh! <laughs> exactly what I was saying. Oh, so that was actually part of the game. Huh. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez. I wasn't sure if that was part of the game or not when that happened. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Um, yeah, it does seem that way. 
Okay, oh no, let me take a look. Why do you touch the computer? I didn't, I didn't want to, I was forced to by the game script. I guess that is. Well, every day, at least seems to be okay. Oh no, my game! What's wrong? When you touch the computer, you saw a game running, right? Yeah, I played a little. Oh jeez, I saved it specifically at the moment to play it later, now it's all gone. What do you mean it's all gone? So much preparation, so many hours grinding, grinding just to get there. If you do that all again, you wouldn't understand. Yeah, I, actually I do, I, I do, I, I know what that's like. I know had a game crash on me, but I do know what that's like. You do? Yeah, we used to have some games where I came from. I see. Well, at least my office is still standing. Speaking of which, what's your bed? Looks like you live here. When I have to work late, it's just easier to just stay here. Besides, I have knowledge of the whole library at my fingertips and can use the resources and equipment as I see. Can I please just take this computer? Don't you have one at home? No, we generally don't have this technology in every household. Oh, it's not exactly rare either. We just use it when we need it. Back home we used to have a fuse everywhere. Most of us even carry one on our wrist wherever we went. Is that so? Oh, that means the library will be closing very soon. If you want to ask... Okay, uh... Oh, there must have been a noise, I guess. I didn't hear it first. If you... What to do? I ask anything in particular. Now's the time. Are you available? <laughs> um, yeah, at least no. Yeah, this sounds interesting. There's a lot we could get into, but I'm not. But I'm afraid we don't have enough time right now. Maybe another day. Anyways, thank you for your help. Come out and find it's my place for dinner sometime to pay you. I'm not else less than this. I enjoy my time here. I assist. Alright then, now I have your number, you probably have mine as well. I do. Great, tell me what I was coming for you. I will. Good night, Bob. Good night. I wonder whether the dragon was being nice or just didn't want to feel indebted to me after I helped him. In any case, this time I spent the library of Benjo, I was looking forward to seeing him again. Yeah, I know, right? Exactly. I hope this doesn't turn into a dating ship all over again because I don't want to date another dude. That would just feel weird for me. It's gone fast out soon enough. Okay, let's just see. Seems like I've got some messages. Let's see. Hello, this is Remy speaking. I'm calling in regards to the thing we talked about. I've not been soon. I'm wondering if you also had the time. Let me know if you're interested. Have a good day. I guess that's my first quotation. That question is whether I want to go or not. Another free day. Yay me. Oh, why not? Just please, game doctor has into a dating thing. This is a nice place. Thank you again for helping me the other day. Thought you know, I would have been trapped swimming through books for a few more hours. I think you'll do it the least I can do. <laughs> potato? <laughs> What's potato mean? Oh yeah, it's no problem really, but... Yeah, I'm... Besides, I'm here to bloom around with the cards. Plenty more time to live if it was only appropriate. Oh my gratitude is yours regardless. Anyways, is there anything particular you'd like to eat? Yeah, I don't want to seem too bossy about things, so... I have to have no other six left. How's that sound? This might take a while, so make yourself at home. When those words, you know, walked into the partially walled off kitchen. There was another door, so I saw him open, afraid to take out two sticks before I stood the lock out. <laughs> somewhat clumsy. It's silent for a moment, though, just now looked over and made the transition. What is it? 
I was just thinking about something. I could all cook if you like. Don't worry about it. Alright. We drowned the apartment as having cooked and couldn't help but notice the mom was mesmerized and tired as the family of the place. Shelves were filled with books, scrolls, magazines, and other various trinkets. Suddenly, the repetitious noise of vegetables being cooked ceased as the family returned to the drawing room. Back in just a minute, went down the hall and fast to the bathroom pool. What's that do? Okay, not, not this is bedroom now. I'm not going to the bathroom either, that would just be creepy. But yeah, um, here we go. Picked up one, oh geez, I didn't think it was going to be actually picking up stuff, that's how we invade people's pro or dragons' property, people's or dragons, I won't invade anyone's property, because people, like, sounds as if I'm talking about humans, but it, there's also, like, the people, like, my people, that could be said, but anyway, get off track here, I put it up one of the frames first, we stand it more closely, the red dragon, I guess it was a female or a young adult, of, of, of young adult college years, even though I wasn't sure, as it was still hard to tell without looking at the obvious size. The crimson sealed head was adorned with frills that lined down the back of her neck. She wasn't familiar to her. Mm. Ah, I was the cells and I looked at books and coins and through scrolls, nothing particularly interesting. For the tiles alone, it seemed <coughs> all diamonds were more or less represented, fiction and non fiction alike. The scrolls were neatly sorted and holders, though I couldn't make out the logical consistency behind the arrangement. Let me how huh? check that out. Huh? Not quite sure what I expected. Um. Yeah, second picture so the remains typical time. Tie glass snow. Bathroom door open and revealed the white dragon. As he approached, I felt my stomach from quietly. Actually, that's happening in real life. Yeah. The barely hear the muffled sound, but I saw having his ears perk up. Realized he saw we have more sensitive ears than expected. Hungry already, I'll take it. Lift your shirt. No, no, no. Um, I'll start if you keep standing around. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, although your stomach is obvious, there for you. <coughs> After entering the kitchen once more, I saw the dragon looked over the parts of the His mouth opened to those of who were going to speak, but his mouth. Scrunched with hesitation. Before I could say anything, he stuck his head and started to cook. Soon I heard the sizzling frying me as oh yeah, nice. Fry it. It's the delicious smell of steak walked in the room. <coughs> Feel by its fragrant odor, I decided I slowly lost myself in the stage as I closed my eyes. Something wrong? You're salivating. It, it's nothing. I was just saying about something. Well, the food is ready. You enjoy. Look down and saw the plate was already in front of me. Piled with steak and vegetables. Mary was already eating, so I took the knife. He provided me and cut off a small corn my steak. Then I pierced away the fork. It's three prongs penetrating the flesh unknown to me. Slowly I rested to myself. My son glided over the bare substance. Briefly, it's down to our lips. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, probably, probably cooked well, I'd like to believe. Took my first bite. Delicious with crisp potato, but much softer and juicy inside. It built on my tongue like butter and tasted better to be the most milk corn in my mouth. It's almost perfect. So, what are you thinking about? Huh? And it's worth thanks back to reality. 
You said you were thinking about something. Mm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, um, that is interesting. I didn't expect that. Why well, do you still have to cook? I mean, can you just use it yourself? Use your fire? Well, for one, now I've lost half our agility ability. Besides, we appreciate the convenience that comes with appliances like this one. Now I want to see if we cook for someone else's bread. I suppose that's a fair point. Yeah, there you go. That's a Everything fire indoors is also a little unsafe. I see, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, interesting, cool. Um, what's this deal? You met my boss? She was hanging around Tyson Park. She certainly does that a lot. Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't ever work for a politician. <laughs> Hi. Um. Those can be misconstrued as flirty. Potentially, and I don't want that to happen. This is just hurt them. Everything, harsh the mill and everything, and uh, this I don't want to. Well, just in case, um, because uh, be alive on whoops, live on mission. If I didn't say that, oh jeez, back to square one. Saves. And obviously, it's the best policy is President Abraham Lincoln, a true president, has said. Which ones? One's on anatomy. Well, well, I do have a variety of posts and scrolls covering all different kinds of subjects. I saw this one. So I heard you have a degree in biology, which is one of the reasons I was given the honor of coming here in the first place. As such, anatomy is the higher just to me, one of the things I'm supposed to study. My anatomy? I was talking about your kind of general, not in particular. Oh, in that case, I might be able to help you find something more confident than a pair of full scrolls. I greatly appreciate that, thank you. Huh. Interesting, um. Huh. Um. Yeah, I guess that. Anyways, how do you like the food? I've made the stiff guy, Cody. It does sound delicious, yes. Thank you. I suppose I could, you could learn to cook. Well, I suppose you learn to cook well and you learn your own long enough. Imagine you saw with Anna. What's that do? Just in case I'm not safe. But again, I'm not sure if it's going to come back to bite me. Because uh, you can load from that one point. Oh jeez, um... Yeah. By the way, I noticed you went to see Anna the other day. What was that all about? How do you know about that? Saw it together before, a little before you left the building. It's kind of a long story. How did Anna feel sitting in the first place? So that I can come by. Apparently she wants to run tests on me. Oh, that was so typical of him. Let me tell you something, that woman is trouble, big trouble. A few years ago she discovered she was discovered performing unapproved and therefore illegal experiments. She'd been running them for a while and there's something she'd be allowed to but in the end the council's ethics committee made the decision against her. As defense was she had for the greater good and that she was Confident their experience will be approved of eventually. So the ambassadors for now long research inside a decision was so tight and stifling and stifling invasion. In the end, no proof that any wrongdoing could be found since it breaks for off scot free. Since then she's remained on the radar till now. The rumors have gone around the line. Surprise, surprise. This invention involves human DNA. Casual disregard for rules of any kind should tell you what kind of person she is. She does have brilliant minds, you know, but twice she used it. She 
she's manipulative, arrogant, abusive. I don't think you should trust her. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I'm really not sure. I guess this for now. I agree, something seems off about her. Some both are picked, place were picked clean. I guess I just do portion correctly. Unless you want more? I'm good, thanks. That was an interesting steak. What kind of meat is that? Aurochs. Interesting. I didn't know that was an actual term. I remember hearing that in <coughs> Final Fantasy X. Way back in the day, uh, yeah, the uh, B Seed RX, the uh, Blitzball team, it was like a fictional sport in that game. But uh, I didn't know that was an actual term other than that. I may have heard of Oxen before. Oh, they are rather large profile mammals characterized by the horns and pony and body shape. Got a range of them. We get products from range of them from meat and milk to sub products like butter and cheese, in addition to leather, felt, oils, and creams. We even use the horns and browns variety of things. It sounds similar to like an animal we have back home. Speaking of unfamiliar creatures, why don't you tell me about your species? Are you referring to me or all of us? Our society is comprised of a number of additional species which you would probably know us by now. Guess all of you, let's start with basics. I'm sure you're aware, but unlike a million arcs, we have reptiles. Though this makes me wonder about you. Based on your fur, I guess you're a mammal, but you're very different from the other mammals we know. In the same vein, you don't share many characteristics with our reptiles back home. And by the way, we don't have fur but hair. What's the difference? Hey, it has a scent. I didn't know that. Well, I think that only applies to. I don't think that applies to everything because I know there are sheep that have to get sheared because their fur, their wool, keeps growing out again and again. Ha! Huh. It does seem that way. Is that so interesting? I was wondering something. Maybe, <laughs> Wearing all those coverings to make up for lack of hair? I suppose that's one reason you use wear clothes. It also provide warm protection to use, use, use differentiators from another. Sometimes you force to use my navigation. Other times clothes are just ornamental. What a person wears can tell you something about the person itself. Just say themselves. That sounds complicated. We also have uniforms to wear some things for ornamental reasons. The our uses are quite so extensive. That brings up an interesting question. Are you endo or exothermic? We provide our own, we produce our own high heat. That's unusual. I come from all reptiles to exothermic, unless you count birds as reptiles, I guess. But now if you reptiles are sentient, correct? You have something to do with their different brain structures. Maybe. Now that you've been in world for a while, do you like it here? Yeah, it seems a pretty cool place. That's good to hear. Cultural differences can make things very difficult sometimes, even within the same species. I'm glad things are working out for you so far. I just remembered, I was able to save my game after all. Interference was only my step back. Okay, good to know. I was quite relieved when I found out. You know, if I hadn't worked out so well, I would have considered making a play up to that point again for me. You know, I got time for that. That's a take on um, a news broadcast. Uh, I forget what her name was. Uh, but yeah, this woman that said that. Yeah, it was like made into remixes and uh, all kinds of memeage. Yeah, sounds pretty cool. Is that so? Yeah, the fun. Let's see what kind of games you have here. 
I'll keep that in mind. Perhaps we can see you sometime. Now I'm glad you're here. Since I'm not planning to tell you up, we haven't really got a chance to sit down and talk. Yeah, it's pretty. I say. I agree. It's a bit busy time for me, as we can imagine. Oh, of course. Thanks for taking the time to pay me a visit. I also have so many things to take care of. It's hard for me to, to find something simple like this. This worked out this time. I do have a point, though. I don't really know that much about you. I know where you work, but that's for a conversation, so that's why I've involved beyond more things than you and me. Oh, please don't turn into a dating sim. As I said, that would feel weird as hell for me as a dude. If you didn't know the dude. Maybe I'm overthinking again. I overthink a lot. <laughs> I'll tell you more about myself. I, I don't really talk, talk about myself. Why not? I guess I wouldn't know what to say. I'm not really that interesting. I don't believe you. There's also a lot of uncertainty. I'm not knowing whether a person reacts to something I say. don't want to embarrass myself. Yeah, you always told me that. That's something. I suppose. Anyways, now you've seen my problem, and I'm wondering what your home on the other side of the pool looks like. Something special. Yours is prettier. Everything, actually everything here looks nice in comparison to my home. Is that so? In some ways I'm not really looking forward to it turn, but it's not like I have a choice in the matter. I suppose you could always visit me, if you wanted to. It not be that easy, I'm afraid. There was an extensive process involved for selecting who would go through the portal. I was only one of the many applicants. I'm still surprised that they ended up being children. At least you're here now. Indeed. <coughs> so what have you moved to the last time I'm sorry? You mean? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, any of these would. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this, I guess, this, uh. Really? No. I believe you from home. Guess you got it there, Bob. Now, with all the talking, I should have forgot about the zip. Yeah, so I have just the right thing for you. I'm just the man. It's neat was stuck there just before I took them into his four pulled them went back into the kitchen and see three other limbs. Three other limbs, interesting. Is this tail cow's limb? Couldn't help it. I think it was pretty awkward. Well, you're trying to balance a plate with it. Rather, trays of cake slice in some of there. I wonder. I realized he would have to make multiple chips to carry everything to the table. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, let's see here. I don't want to embarrass him if you. Um, you need to help with that? Don't worry about it, I can handle it. You might guess after all. Once he placed the first cake close on the table, he went back to the other. When he approached the table for the second time, though, one of the tiny dessert forks starts to slip off the plate. When he waits for the street four pollens to save a bit. Oh, jeez. Instant the plate, the fork, and the cake slice flew through the air. Dish in the silverware cut against the pristine cake. Oh, jeez. Ah. I'm sorry, Bob. It's fine. I was just sitting down. No, no. It's anything. This isn't just about you and your cake. This happens so. Always have to you know how hard I try. That private hand soon as some other species. 
Can someone like me be a librarian? I'll take this by with them, dropping a scroll and filling it across the room. The customers don't care about it too much. They think it's a common sight for them after all. This is a bad idea, isn't it? I guess it is. I just don't see why someone like me has got to be a librarian. Got to be a librarian when the world is more qualified for this scene. But at least you're capable of not dropping them to on a daily basis. So be smart of you for it. I know. I mean, what else would she have to do all this cast all the time? Sorting books, carrying things from place to one place to another. I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't work somewhere where my worth is not the only team that I provide. I'm looking for a new job. His positions have termed some of those ministers. I remember from the show that went by quick. How long do you have left? Wow. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. Not really. It's not like I could prove anything. I probably can apply to me to two very different things that would be hard to consider. Oh, jeez. This is why it's having no ceiling of you and I don't know like this. I shouldn't have brought that up. Let's not talk about it further. We can still see the other slice if you like. Alright. Okay, that, that's going to be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. To keep this one good too long, if you want to go, please subscribe and I'll also back fairly well.